hope you all had a nice Christmas. That's what you celebrate, or at least if a day off or so, before you're back out there at it. Here's a pretty new Freightliner. Got the cattle bumper on there. See that a lot. Wheel covers are becoming very, very popular for aerodynamics. And he's got a tri pack. Sitting next to a Landstar Freightliner. I don't know what year this is either. I would say it's a 16 or newer, but I'm not sure. A flatbed, it's a Mercer truck. I've showed you these before. These guys run, they're all owner operators. I, they might have a few trucks where owner operators hire drivers but this is an old international 9400. Next to a Volvo 319, I'm not sure what year this is. I think some of these guys uh, might be parked here over the holiday. Not a lot of activity here. Somebody parking a trailer. Probably uh, bobtailed home. Here's a uh, tanker, a Peterbilt, by none. They're a pretty big company. I don't know much about them though. I see their trucks out on the road. A lot of Volvos out here. Here's a, this guy's been sitting for the holiday, I can tell. Look at this truck. And you know how I can tell? Look at how, how set down his, his rear tandems are. All the air is out. Trucks settled down. DB Cargo out of Fishers, Indiana. That's really close to here. So I would say that's somebody that just parked here for the weekend. He'll probably be going out soon. Got another Volvo. Oh, what do we have here? Magnum truck. I've wanted to run across one of these guys park for a long time. Very interesting company out of Fargo, North Dakota. Let me show you. There he is. They run all reefers. They're out of way up there on the eastern edge of, of North Dakota. And believe it or not, this is a company I almost went with. They have nice equipment. Get in the shade here. He may live around here too, I don't know. I've got a feeling that a lot of the guys that are parked here live in the area and took advantage of the truck stop for the holiday. But, uh, the story is that when I was first getting back into trucking, I was down to two companies. Yeah, just two. And that was Maverick Transportation, doing flatbed, and Magnum, out of Fargo. And I was gonna go either way. And it came down to it, I was in my CDL school at the time. I went to school in Muncie, Indiana. 
and down to the time I really had to make that choice. And I was talking with both companies quite a bit. And what it came down to is Maverick just kind of nappy. <laughs> they, they were a little more assertive and going after me. A larger company, maybe they were set up for doing that better. So I went with Maverick. And, and I also talked it over with my wife quite a bit and she said, all things being equal, and I decided all things would be equal. And from what I knew and everything, good company, I thought, I can't lose. She said, the one that gets you home more is the one we want, and that was Maverick. These guys stay out two or three weeks. So, and I don't know, I thought I might be able to get home more, but I don't think so. So, I went with Maverick. I'm gonna shoot a few more shots of this Magnum truck, okay? Hold on. Well, that was kind of nice. Obviously, this guy lives in the neighborhood. <laughs> or he lives in the area. And has a few days off. Let's walk down here. Here we can see a Swift truck. They run pretty uh, standard equipment, but you see all kinds of manufacturers' trucks running for Swift. They are, they are huge. And of course, taking advantage of the wheel covers. Here's another one that's been, uh, been sitting here all weekend, I can tell. Look at his, uh, look at his drives here. Look how the truck has settled down. Airbags are empty. Those darn mirrors here. These mirrors up here. <laughs> Got one of my Carter trucks. I don't know what the thing is for. I've never seen any good of it, any use for it. It's a pretty nice, pretty Volvo here. Oh, phone's ringing. Hold on. A junk call, naturally. Here's a flat better and a covered wagon. Generally, I don't really go for that whole piling, piling stuff up on your dash. I don't think that suits you well when you roll through a scale if your truck looks like that. Much less the home terminal. Probably about it. There's a few more. I'm going to walk back over this way. Every truck I see though, the airbags are all deflated. People home. There's people on the highway though. So we'll see. Another flat better over here. Obviously home. This guy, well, the uh, pavement kind of pitches there. So. I may be assuming something that's not true with that. I don't know. We'll see. I want to see what this red truck is here. Another Pete. A lot like the uh, Magnum truck. Nice looking truck. Decked out a little bit fancier than that Magnum truck was. Notice the fog lights. The visor. These things get outfitted all kinds of ways. And you pretty much get what you want. Well, looks like that's about it. I think there's a wreck up on the highway. Slowing people down or construction. A few bobtails here. People hanging out. I would imagine they are either waiting on a, a load or they are here for the weekend. Shooting into the sun like this, I know I don't get a good image. A couple of England trucks, Premier truck. Fuel islands are empty. 
gonna walk inside get a cup of coffee and hit the road I've got I'm uh, I drove over here in my car because I wanted to take advantage of the, the opportunity and my wife had to work today so I got a few days off though and I'm enjoying it I hope you are too so Merry Christmas Happy Holidays whatever you might celebrate Hanukkah's over and I hope everybody had time with the ones they love. That's the important thing. I did. My trusty little, my little diesel station wagon's over here. With the cars, parked with the cars today. But, it doesn't slow me down. <laughs> One thing I know is truck stops. Take care, everybody.